Hey, let me show you how you can improve battery life on the Nothing Phone 2A. So sometimes people forget about the base stuff and I'm gonna show you step by step everything that actually can improve life of the battery in the smartphone. So first of all, from the, from the very basic stuff, now we, can, we, we have to remember about turning off uh, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth when we are not using it. So if you have this issue that your battery drain really fast, just remember to simply go into the Wi-Fi. Uh, if you are outside, you are only using mobile data, just be sure that you turn off the, the Wi-Fi and also the same for the Bluetooth. And so if you actually cannot turn it off from here, uh, just swipe up with this notification and uh, notification bar and turn off Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. Uh, next, I can also recommend you to turn off the glyph interface or change the brightness. So if you really want to use it, just leave this marker enabled, but get the brightness for like lowest, um, for the lowest level. Next, uh, we can also check the battery usage. So go into the battery, open battery usage, and now just take a look for the application that is draining the battery the most. So maybe there's like some application that you are not using. So if you like, for example, not using, uh, let's say that right here is like some game uh, and you don't use this game uh, or any other application, you can actually uh, uninstall this application by going to the apps, selecting all apps. Now we have to find this application, click on it and simply uninstall. So for example, this one probably will be, yeah, we can click uninstall and get rid of this uh, application. But if like any, if maybe you are using some application, but it's like working in the background. So we can also restrict this uh, by going into the application. You can actually move into the app battery usage and restrict the battery usage. So uh, this application will be not working in the background. So, so we have to also remember about this one. It's also very useful to, to change these options. And next uh, we have to navigate into the sound and vibration. And uh, from this, it's also good to turn off some vibrations. If you don't use, for example, vibration for calls, uh, maybe for notification, or for example, you don't like the touch feedback. So you can actually turn off one of this following function. And the same for this other sounds, like for example, the, the iPad tones, screen locking sound, charging sound, and the screenshot sound. So if you don't really care about this sound, just simply get rid of it. Uh, next, we'll move into the display where you can find actually really <clears throat> useful options to increase the battery life. So first of all, uh, just remember to turn on the adaptive brightness. You don't need always to get the 100% of, 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 the, of the display level. Uh, when you are going outside, for sure, it's actually worth to set the 100% uh, when there's like sunny day. <clears throat> but when you are inside in your house, for example, uh, just let your phone automatically adjust the brightness. And the same it looks for the screen timeout. So uh, we can simply uh, change it for like 15 seconds, for example, if you use it for like 10 minutes and often leave your phone with the screen turned on, that's actually normal that your battery will be draining faster than, for example, 15 seconds or 30 seconds. So just remember about set, set this or this value. And next from this, also be sure that you turn on the dark theme. As you know, the dark theme actually draining battery less than the white one. And uh, from this, it's also good to get this dynamic refresh rate. So it's actually automatically adjust the refresh rate. So you are not always with the 120 Hertz. For example, when I'm holding my phone right now, it is on the 60 Hertz. Um, but also you can get the 60 Hertz. So now you will like really get the big battery life because you are going to restrict this refresh rate of the display. So we can decide the dynamic or the standard. Next uh, from this, we can also turn off the HDR display because this function actually picking brightness for HDR content. And from this, that's all. Now we have to scroll down. Uh, you have to also remember about the location. So when you are not using location, when you are not using Google Maps or stuff like this, just simply turn it off. When you need it, just turn it on back. But uh, it's actually draining the battery. And uh, from this, you have to also remember about the system updates because in the most cases, it is actually give us, you know, all of the fixes of the new features and uh, the nothing will definitely optimize battery during the next updates. And if you are using any live wallpaper, 
it will be also good to take it off and s uh, set this this static wallpaper because it's also draining battery a lot so as i said uh, that's actually some basic stuff you know turn off wi-fi turn off bluetooth turn off location change some brightness just some display settings some sound settings restrict some apps and this when you change all of these settings you will definitely find the difference between your current battery life and your future battery life so that's all for this video right now please subscribe to my channel